In this video, I'm going to talk about how I launched my first Amazon FBA private label product. This is my journey. I'm going to talk about the steps that I took from when I first started learning to when I first started selling. I'm going to run through how long it took, how I felt and how much it cost. Hopefully this video shows you the exact journey that I took so you know the realism of what it takes to actually get a product launched on Amazon. Welcome, my name is Vikash and on this channel I talk about my Amazon FBA seller journey and I provide tutorials released weekly. So I remember when I first found Amazon online. I was searching for something, I knew I had to make more money, I wanted to quit my job and I found Amazon. So the first thing I did was educate myself and I think that's really important to do. So I think the first thing to do is to educate yourself and that's exactly what I did. I spent hundreds and hundreds of hours just sitting on YouTube, Googling as much as I could and finding out as much information as I could. Most of the information that I found was on YouTube. And as I was learning from YouTube, I was checking on Amazon seller, I was background checking some other bits and just making sure that all of the information that I had was as accurate as it could be. So I was looking at various different sources on YouTube. So for instance, I was looking at what Tanner J. Fox was doing. I was looking at Project Life Mastery, That Ninja Lifestyle and Jungle Scout. And when I found Jungle Scout and then discovered that there's a tool out there that actually analyzes everything that we need, so I can make an informed decision, that felt like a no-brainer to me. So I bought that product and went with that. So I must have spent about one to two months educating myself. Once I did that, I went on to doing some product research. I used the Jungle Scout web app and I used the Jungle Scout Pro extension to find the products that I was looking for. Once I found what I was looking for, I, tr I did a 999 tracking method. And if that's something you want further information on, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a video about it. I tracked approximately 15 different products that I thought were viable and I tracked them for a week and then narrowed that down to about two to three products and then made an educated decision on which one I should go ahead with, which one I thought would be more profitable, which one was easier to get into the market and rank onto first page. By the way, I managed to rank second and was within the budget that I had to spend on the product. So the first thing I did is educate myself. I spent hundreds of hours, one to two months on that. Then I went and found some products and did some product research, did a little bit of analysis behind those products and then went with the one that I thought was best. After this, I knew I had to contact suppliers. So it seems like a decent day outside. So I'm gonna get my coat on and head to the park. <sighs> okay, so I'm ready. Let's go talk on my journey. so windy outside I don't think I'm gonna be able to talk you through my journey here so I'm gonna go back inside and I'm actually gonna go play I might play in the playground and then come back and talk you through my journey There's literally nobody in the park and I've got the whole thing to myself. I'm going crazy. <laughs> So before I got in touch with all of my suppliers, I got an email template ready. Uh, I set it out and made sure I could easily copy and paste that into every email that I sent to every supplier. I've actually made this template available for you guys. So if you wanted to join our Facebook journey group, there's a link in the description. Click on that to the Facebook journey group and you can download the supplier template now. <sighs> so I sent out this email template to a number of different suppliers. So I listed out in the region of 50 to 60 suppliers and I sent it to all of them. I wanted to make sure that I got the absolute best price that I needed for my product to make a profit. And you know how many people responded? 20, around 20 people responded. I thought that was brilliant. Out of those 20, not all of those were full responses. You see, some of the Chinese suppliers had answered some of the questions. Some had answered one, some 
had answered none of my questions and just sent over a list of products that were nothing that were not related to my product whatsoever or what I asked for. So I went back to some of these and asked them the questions again, asked them the questions that they hadn't answered and hoped that they would come back with the answers that I wanted. So it was a lot of back and forth before I got the answers that I wanted, especially the FOB price. So by this time I'd got about six different suppliers who had provided me with prices. I discounted some of them and I was left with three. But these were three good suppliers from what I knew at the time. They had great communication skills, they had a decent price and they were all on Alibaba able to accept trade assurance. So I worked with all three of them to try and get the best possible price with the specifications that I wanted. I went ahead and ordered with one supplier. I agreed the terms and then I paid my deposit. Now this was the difficult bit. Soon as you pay your deposit, you're fully invested. Well, you're partially invested because I only put 30% down. Now that can be a little bit scary and a little bit daunting for somebody who's never done anything like this. But trust me, once you've done your research and you've checked everything, you've done your analysis, you've worked with the supplier to ensure that you've got the right product, you've got sample products, you've got everything you need. But when you put money down, this is when you really start thinking, am I doing the right thing? But once I got through that and told myself, look, I'm not going to get anywhere until I actually put some money down, get this going, get the product in and actually start selling. If anything, I lose a little bit of money. Well, to me, it wasn't actually a little bit of money. It was actually £2,666. And I'll talk about this in one of my other videos with all the financials and profits, etc. So I had to wait approximately 30 days for the manufacturing to be complete, for all of the shipping labels to be put onto my products, for an inspection company to go in and inspect as many products as possible to make sure that they're right up to scratch. So within those 30 days, I set up my listing. I made sure my keyword research was done, my SEO was done, and the listing was written up nice. In that time, I also booked my shipping, which was an estimated 30 days from when they picked it up from the Chinese port and delivered it to Amazon's warehouse within the UK. As all this stuff started to happen, the manufacturing took 30 days, which felt like forever. And then it went on to the ship on the sea and was being delivered to the UK. And that felt like it took forever. I mean, what were they shipping it on? The Titanic? Iceberg, right ahead! But eventually the day came. I got an email through to say that I need to pay my import duty and tax, which I paid as soon as I possibly could. One week later, it was in stock in Amazon's warehouse, under my listing, ready to sell. From then on, it was all down to me. It was all about me setting up my PPC and my marketing correctly, making sure my images were set up and, and displaying correctly. I was ready to make money. Everything up to this stage felt like it took forever. It felt like it took months upon months upon months. But in actual fact, it was all done within three or four months or so, which is realistic for your first product. I mean, there are some people out there who might be able to get it done in, I don't know, within a month, but in all honesty, it took me about three to four months. And I'm the type of person who's really good at this type of thing. It took me some time. I had to learn everything. and I had to do my product research. It was the first time I ever did any type of photography, written any type of copy, or ever sold anything online, really. I'd never shipped anything from China. I've never shipped anything from any country. And somehow, because of all of the work that I did, all of the education that I put in in the product research, which I think are the two most important pieces, everything went pretty smoothly. So then on to the next bit, my first sale. So I've done all of this work. I put in months and months of effort. My product's now listed and I'm waiting for the sale. Guess how long it took for my first sale to come through? One day. So within one day, somebody had bought my product. And from then on, it just increased and increased and increased. The sales just went up. And that's when I thought, this is for me. Since then, I've been looking at more products. I've sourced two further products, which have just landed in the UK and are going to Amazon's warehouse and should be for sale within the next one to two weeks, hopefully. I'm also looking at five more products to sell in the US. So I'm going all out on this. If you want to know how much money I made, how much money I put in, the revenue that I generated, etc. from this first product within the first three months, then look out for my next video. I'll put a link in the description below as soon as it's released. I'm really hoping this video was useful to you and that helps on your journey. This is the first of many videos to come. I just want to be absolutely honest and transparent with you guys so you know what you're getting yourself into 
if the Amazon FBA journey is something that you want to do. I absolutely totally believe in it and I'm putting everything that I can into this journey and hope that I get the results and achieve the goals that I want to achieve. If you found this helpful, make sure you like, subscribe and comment below so I know to make more videos like this one. I'm going to talk about how I launched my... Launch, launch!